folks and welcome again to the channel if you are familiar or you pass by this uh, page that my tv is all about match gathering gameplay and also i'm going also do with Ragnarok online some uh, video may rpg games and also related stuff basically strategy for this card game magic the gathering and for today's topic we're going to go with another standard deck tech from mtg goldfish they call this the kami war since uh, if you are not familiar yet there will be the card this is the five mana cost enchantment uh, let me just uh, highlight it again so this one is a saga from Kamigawa Onion Dynasty. One white, blue, black, red, green. And then you have these effects. Exile target another permanent. Return up to one target. Other target another permanent in Orange's hand. Then it's one it's got a card. And then you can actually saga to return it as a battlefield transform. You get this uh, version of Kagachi made manifest. An enchantment creature dragon spirit. It is all colors flying trample. Whenever it attacks, the defending player chooses a non-land card in your graveyard and a third card in your hand and Okagachi made manifest gets plus X plus zero where X is the more mana value of that card so that's a lot of text probably to discuss all of this advantage of this card but how do you get with this uh, setup given that you need five dollars to cast this so what we did is basically have all of the lands that will do the mana fix and also other related spells to support it so we go with a deck discussion as you can see six six lands to do all of these colors supporting almost uh, basically more of the five color of the deck with some new deck text from dominaria united in the form of archangel of wrath some ley lines binding and also new blue cards from this uh, new set so we go first with the uh, creature choice and your usual wrath two copies to make sure that it is just a utility creature with uh, gaining advantage with a kick so as well as you uh, were able to kick this it deals the damage to any target uh, once it was kicked twice it will deal uh, uh, two damage to any target again so basically it makes it four damage in total to any target and you get to gain two life in the process because of its lifelink effect so given that it's a 3-4-4-4 four, 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 flying lifelink is still a good way to gain life for your lands and at the same time uh, go with the late game uh, card value given that your main strategy is being a control deck so once you get to clear all of those uh, opponent's threats and creatures you can just basically win with Archangel of Wrath attacking every turn so with the support of this card, we also have Ertai Resurrected. It is a 4 to cast 3 to uh, flashy legendary feature. So Ertai has returned here in the storyline for Dominaria. And it has its ability as a standard field field. field. Uh, you choose up to 1. You may counter target spell, activate ability or trigger ability. The drawbacks that the controller will draw a card. Or you can destroy another creature or prince walker. But also with the same drawback of having them to draw a card. So not really if you make uh, it a bit of any sense destroying a relevant creature or a friend swapper would not really devalue the card draw that uh, your opponent will get given that uh, you can just have it for 4 you get a 3-2 body and also you can do it at uh, any time right? if you make cast an instant so with the support of this we, st we still have a few uh, fix uh, we go first with the Celestus it's just one copy to go with having to produce a mana mini color and uh, have these effects that you can be able to gain life or you may draw a card or discard a card in the setup of whenever night the day becomes night or night becomes day so just a utility card to add for this build so with the three copies of Kami War you also have four copies of the Leylines Binding this is a new card from DMU or Dominion United it's currently cost around this price and I think it would still be rising given that the domain effect that makes it uh, cost one less would not really I mean it's, it's not a, a good drawback here since uh, you are playing basically five colors and uh, utilizing each of the basic land types in the deck so making it uh, at most is just a one to cast flashy removal that can exile target non permanent opponent controls until it leaves the battlefield so the efficiency of this card relies upon the domain cards as you play more of your basic land types so Having this uh, as four copies makes it a very efficient uh, spot removal in this build. 
Along with it, we also have uh, two copies of uh, Meat of Massacre since this is just the uh, X and Black Black for sweeping out pictures. And at the same time, we get bonus of having them lose life uh, or whenever you control, I your control dies, so you get them to lose life or so you gain life in the process as you sweep out their creatures. So, one way to retain you up in the late game is another life in source, source with this. So also for the planeswalkers, uh, we have Kadetsuki, not really uh, more, much of a utility card here, but uh, given that uh, you can draw a card and discard a card if, unless you attack this turn, and having also a blue ninja that can cause consistent damage because of uh, this creature at Pimlak. So on its own, it can be a good uh, and independent uh, card draw engine. And at the same time, we can partner it with the Wandering Emperor, so not really much deduction here because it is probably Whites and Esper controls and more probably here in Mono Black. I mean, Mono Multicolor Control decks that are having this as the Utility Planeswalker to go with the mid-game out to the late-game scenario. Now for the Instant and Sorceries, let us check what our sorceries here. We have two copies of the Silver Scrutiny. So this is uh, draw X cards, but the drawback here is that I think it is uh, sorcery speed, but it has also an effect that you may cast it as an instant or it has flash if X is 3 or less. So at max you can have it uh, cast for 5 to draw 3 at any time, but uh, since you're going with the late game, uh, tapping out for drawing X that many cards would not really uh, a drawback here since there are instances that you will just need to tap to replenish your hand up to those setup that you can have more threats after you untap on their next turn. So two copies of this to make sure you can have enough mana for it to come back uh, to draw it to your hand and cast it for your late game. So for the instance, counter spells are needed here. So it is coin two copies or solid uh, counter spell. It is then backed by two negates. And uh, Joint Exploration is sort of a ramp up uh, spell here. You, it's also a card draw in a sense, but uh, as you kick it for grid, you may play a land card, an additional play of a land from your hand to do the battlefield. So, a card draw effect and then a play land is much very much. Uh, go with a, an expensive explorer card as compared to the one such as those of a growth spiral this, 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 it has the same ability except that uh, the casting cost will probably does the uh, only drawback here because uh, making it a 3, three to cast in a uh, total but uh, since uh, we would also just go with the uh, a card draw effect or turn to turn dirty that depends on how you would set up your early turns or going with your turn 3 to turn 4 in that matter so it's quite uh, 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 situational card to play here but since uh, we're playing just a uh, five colors here so that really kicking out this by turn three is the ideal uh, play for this card so along with it we have uh, lastly the two copies of uh, march of white a dirty light to exile artifact creature enchantments at the cost of x mana or you can just uh, exile another white card or any number of them from your hand to be more efficient and then we have four copies of Rona's Vertex. So this is just a, a bounce spell to bounce out creatures or planeswalker. But uh, if it was kick, put a permanent on the bottom and it's on our survey. So having a four mana in total to have a permanent removal that goes beyond the graveyard shenanigans. So the, the benefit here is that having to kick it for putting it to the bottom is making sure that their uh, graveyard effects such as uh, returning the cards from the graveyard to your hand would not benefit from this uh, feature that was uh, put into the bottom as an effect by a kick on this vertex. So four copies of this to make sure that they have an uh, option for early turn that uh, an aggressive turn can just who you was uh, want to cast this for one or you can go with the late game of the cast for a kicker cost. So with those two controls in setup, you can think uh, you can basically have enough time for you to set up your Kami War and at the same time uh, have it flip into the threat of Olkamachi and have this card win all the way for this setup. Now for the lands, we have 26. Uh, he has chosen to play around 
uh, three copies of the Thailands, the Spicy Martyrs, four copies of the Finn's Towers since Esper is probably the, the best three color here. We'll check on the color combination later. I mean, the color analysis. And then three copies of Sunder, Sunder's Launch. So it is making sure that you can hit all of the basic land types before you cast this uh, card such as Leyland Binding to make it more efficient. In other support of this, we have one copy of each of the slow lands, such as uh, this one, the Southern Beach, Dream Root, Haunted Ridge, also Over the Farmland, and Phantom Secret Marsh, and also some cards on the cast. So basically, one of each, then it is then uh, added by Takinuma, Otawara Land, and Iganju for the support legendary lands from Kamigawa and Dynasty. So, if you're going to check, you can just really have just islands and plains and maybe one copy of swamp to fill up the rest of the cards in the land package so that's total of 26 lands for a control uh, setup for this five color deck uh, kami war so for distribution as you can see here it's mostly esper with uh, red and green and when i cost surprisingly is 3.1 only but to make sure that you can have enough mana to play out your threats and uh, have a huge speed hook massacre later on so it uh, basically ideal to just uh, draw your cards and uh, play at least uh, not to miss out the one land per turn gameplay up to your five or six turns to make sure that you are very efficient and you can have all of these uh, Five color mana setup before you you're going to hard cast your Kami War to make sure uh, have an effect to exiling one of your opponents uh, permanent and non permanent that may be a threat to your gameplay. So that's it. That's overall for a five color Kami War update with Dominara United. So if you're going to try this in Arena, feel free to to check on this list, uh, do some uh, revisions or do some sideboarding on your based on your observation of your standard metagame and you can feedback on this by commenting up on the video below so that's about it for this video we have uh, until the next uh, weekend again to do a testing for your local gameplay or maybe if you have a weekday tournament you can check also this for the setup in this uh, game we would try to have enough cards in your arena then you can just copy out this deck and play it directly for your rank game or any testing uh, format scenario so that's about it uh, thank you for checking this video until the next time and see you on the next video